everybody. We're going to do another fourth grade math video and today it's going to talk about two digit by two digit multiplication when one of those factors is a multiple of 10, like 30. So um, I have three different strategies here because your kids are going to be practicing all different three and finding the one that works best for them. Um, so I thought, why not? We'll do all three. It doesn't take very long. Um, and they're all kind of connected. So it, it kind of plays with each other. Um, so our problem is going to be 30 times 21. And the first thing that we do um, is that we use the associative property. Um, and we have learned that that property tells us that we can break apart the numbers and rearrange the order and we'll still get the same answer. So we can kind of play around with our numbers a little bit, which makes it a little easier. So the first thing we do is break apart the 30 because that's our multiple of 10 and it's easy to break apart. So we have decided we're going to do, instead of 30 times 21, we're going to do 3 times 10 times 21. So we have 3 times 10, which is 30, times 21. And so we can switch that around a little bit. Um, and then what we decided is that we're going to use parentheses and decide which one of those things are we going to do first. And it doesn't matter. You can do 21 times 3 or 21 times 10. It doesn't matter. Um, but today, we're going to do 21 times 10 first and then multiply it by 3. Your kids could do a different order. It doesn't matter. We're always going to get to the same answer. So on our number disks, I'm going to draw 21. So 2 in the 10s, 1 in the 1s, and we're multiplying that by 10. So uh, we've learned the trick that we can just add um, a zero after the 21, cover up the zero and the 10, multiply it by one, and then add the zero to our answer. But we want to know why that works. And what that is is because we are moving place values when we multiply by 10. So we're going to circle the disks in the tens place, and we're going to move them over to the hundreds place. It gets one place value bigger if you multiply by 10. So I'm going to draw my two in the hundreds, cross them out in the tens because they're gone. We moved them. Do the same for the ones. Cross it out because we used them. So we've done 21 times 10. That's done. Now I just have to multiply by 3. So right now I have 210. It's my new number after multiplying by 10. And right now I have one group of 210. But if I'm multiplying by 3, I need 3 groups of 210. So if I have one already, I'm going to make 2 more. One more group of 210. And a third group of 210. Okay, so if you look, you can see I have 1 group, 2 groups, and 3 groups because I'm multiplying by 3. And then from here, we just have to count up our number disks. So I have zero in the ones place, three in the tens place, and six in the hundreds place. So my answer would be 630. Now today, we learned our area model. So I can take 30 times 21, and I'm going to put my multiple of 10 on the outside. Put 30 right here. Okay, the, the reason being because there only is one value in that number. There's a zero in the ones place, so there's no value there and then a three in the tens place, so we only have one section, okay? Um, the 21, however, has two different pieces. There's the value in the ones place, one, so I'm gonna put that on the right side of my box, and the value of the tens place, the two, which is the value of 20. So I will need to break up the values and separate them so I can multiply easier numbers. So I can do 30 times two, so like we've been practicing in class, or our trick, make it faster, cover up the zeros. Three times two is six. And if I look at how many zeros I'm covering up, one, two. So I'm gonna add one, two zeros to my answer, so it's 600. And then 30 times one is 30. Now I'm gonna take these parts of my answer, which if you remember from another video, is our partial products and I'm going to add them together. So 600 plus 300 equals 630. So we've got the same answer from two different strategies. Finally, 
if your student or your child can do this in their head, if they can visualize this area model in their head, which might take them a little while, they can do the partial products. So we write 30 times 21 vertically, and we think in our head. Zero times one is zero. Zero times 20 is zero. So again, I'm looking at the values just like I did over here. So the, both those answers are zero. I'm not gonna write it down. But if I look at the 30, 30 times one, just like over here, is 30. And 30 times 20, again, doing the values, just like over here, is 600. And if I add those pieces up, I get 630. So you can see that we are learning um, our multiplication in a variety of ways so that your kids can pick the one that they're most successful with and go with that. So um, there's the number disks, which might be their favorite, who knows? Um, but the area model and partial products. Um, so these two you might be seeing more often than the number disks, but if the question asks for it, we have to use it, so we might as well practice it. So um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you have any requests, don't hesitate to ask. Um, this was a request. More than happy to do that. Um, hope that helps.